What's up my friends, welcome back! Can you tell that I'm reading from a prompter right now? Well, I hope not, because that's exactly what I'm doing. And that is what we will build in today's video. We will make a homemade prompter so you could read your text at the same time that you're recording the video. As you can see, the text is scrolling in front of the camera, but only I can see it. The camera can record with no problems and as you can see, the picture is very clear. The text won't appear on the camera, even if it's scrolling in front of it. And it's even more, with this setup I can control the speed, the text, the color and much more directly with the laptop that I have here on my table. So for example, if I make any mis... Oh, just show you an example. Let me just scroll it. Okay, so for example, if I make any mistake like this one, I can just scroll back and keep recording. So in today's video, we'll see how this works, what we need to create this project, how to control it and how to make it. So as always, make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. So guys, let's get started. This episode is sponsored by the PCB manufacturer company GLC PCB. Their main services are the 2 layer PCBs for only $2. Also 4 and 6 layer PCBs, the SMT assembly process where you will get the PCBs with all the components already soldered in place and also the SMT stencil for soldering SMT components with solder paste. The quality of the PCBs is amazing. I use their services all the time and always get good results. For only $2, you have 5 PCBs of any color that you want. So go to glcpcb.com, upload the Gerber files of your design and order the PCBs in just a couple of minutes. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's start and see what we need to build this homemade prompter. We start with some plywood. In this case I will use a 4mm plywood. We will later cut this to all sorts of shapes. And you have those shapes and sizes below this video, so go and check that out. Then we need a glass or maybe a thin acrylic. In my case I have that from a simple photo frame. Just remove the back of that and get out the glass. So for this I have a glass of 20 by 30 centimeters. The size of the final prompter is given by the size of your camera. I will use this prompter with my second camera which is not that big. But imagine a bigger camera that won't fit inside, so you'll have to make your prompter bigger following the same steps but with bigger measurements. And by the way, you could also use the MDF wood from the photo frame, so keep that as well. Ok, so next we need this camera support with a ball shape. I bought this from eBay for just $2. With this it will be a lot easier to place the camera. You will also need a black cloth. In my case I've used an old black t-shirt that I had laying around. This is a very inexpensive t-shirt, so don't use your good shirts for this. Ok, so finally for the material list we also need a tripod. This was also very low cost from eBay. I bought it so I could use it with my second camera sometimes, so it doesn't have to be that high quality. But make sure it has a camera mount like this one. Ok, now for the electronics. To show the text, some are using a tablet or a smartphone. But in my case, I will use directly an LCD with an HDMI input. Even the tablet or the smartphone option is a good choice, I want to use my laptop to show the text. And this is why. If I miss any text while reading or I make any mistake using the tablet or smartphone, I have to always stand up, go and take out the tablet and scroll back the text. But I want to keep my laptop below my table and be able to scroll back from here and also control the speed and so on. So, a good option is to just connect the HDMI cable to this LCD module, pass that cable below my table and connect it to my PC. In this way I have a lot more control. So that's why for the electronics we need this LCD and the HDMI controller. This might be the expensive part of the project. I've bought mine from eBay and I use it in the RetroPie video. Ok, so to supply this we need a 12V DC transformer like this one and also some DC to DC plugs so we can make the connections. And finally we need an HDMI cable that is long enough and that is pretty much all we need to complete this project. Oh yes, maybe also some black paint so we can give this prompter a better look and we will also need some white glue. 
Ok guys, so let's start. First we cut the plywood to shape. The part that we will use as a base must have the same width as the glass. But for the land, in my case, it will be a little bit longer than the glass. It must have the space to fit the camera with the support and the glass at 45 degrees angle. Then we need to cut two triangles with 45 degrees angles as well. This will support the glass. And for the sides, we cut two more rectangles that will give more strength to the prompter and also support the black material that we will place over later. I also cut some small wood parts as well for reinforcement. Ok, so first I measure the middle of the base plywood. And then close to the edge, first I screw in place the camera ball support. For that all we need is a screw on the back. Now with the camera in place, I measure more or less where to place the glass so it will stay at 45 degrees without touching the camera lens. Then I mark the position on the wood. Now I glue in place two small pieces of wood that will be the stops for the glass. Now I measure where to place the 45 degrees triangles on the rectangle sides. I mark that on the plywood and then I glue in place the triangles on the sides. Now when I will add these sides, they will support the glass at 45 degrees. Ok, so I glue the sides. After that I add some small wood parts for reinforcement. We could now remove the glass for a while. And then I flip the entire support and I measure where to place the tripod mount. Then I screw that in place close to the camera, since that will be the part with more weight. At this point you could go and paint the entire plywood interior with black, so it will reflect less light. You could use some spray paint for that to be easier. Now you could go and add back the glass and the camera if you want. Make sure that you clean the glass before you place it, because otherwise it will have fingerprints. Ok guys, so now we have to add the electronics. The screen will go here and the HDMI driver, I will glue that below so we will have easy access to the connectors. So first I fix in place the LCD with just a little bit of hot glue around the frame. Make sure it will have the data connection pins on the outer side of the prompter, so we could later connect the driver. Now connect the LCD to that driver. It has the data strip connector and also 12V connector for the light. When the driver is connected, I glue that below the plywood. But make sure it will have enough space between the driver and the tripod. Because you don't want the tripod to touch the driver, so measure that before you fix it in place. Ok, I also glue the power DC connector on the back side of the prompter, so we could later connect 12V. Ok, so now we can give the setup a test. So connect the HDMI cable to the driver. We power up the board with the 12V from the DC transformer. Then connect the HDMI cable to your PC. Now open your Internet Explorer and go to zq.com or any other free prompter website. All you have to do is to place your text here, you have to select the font size, also the speed, the background color to black and the mirror settings. Then you have to press prompt and the text will start scrolling. Because we have it with mirror settings, we will see the text in the correct direction on the reflection glass. Ok, so the system works, but we need a dark background so we better see the text, but also to protect the camera for unwanted light or reflections. Otherwise, we will see the reflections in the camera and we don't want that. So this is how this type of printer works. The light from the LCD goes up and reflects into the glass. And since we have a black background behind, we can see the text quite well. The camera has a bigger angle with the glass. And since behind we have once again a black background, no light from the LCD will go towards the camera, only the light coming from the front. So in this way we can record with the camera while also seeing the text just in front of us. Ok, so the final step is to add the black material. Place that over the glass. And also cut it to a smaller size. I glue it all around and leave a hole in the middle so only the camera lens will pass. In this way, we won't see the white color of the camera. 
All we have to do now is to place this on a tripod. Connect the HDMI cable and start reading the text while recording at the same time. Of course, you could make yours bigger and a lot more better looking. In my case, I just want it to work. The looks are not that important for me if it does the job. I will place some more websites below for other free teleprompters. Or if you want to use your smartphone for this, you can also find some apps for that. Below this video you have the part list for this project, the links that you need, the sizes and shapes that I've used for my design and more on electronoops.com, so check that for more details. So guys, I hope that you like this project. In the intro of this video I was reading from the prompter, and as you can see the picture is very clear. I have no problems reading the text and recording at the same time, and it also looks that I'm looking at the camera, because the camera is right behind the text that I'm reading. If you like this video or learned something new, give it a like. And also remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell. If you would like to support my work as well, check my Patreon page. So thanks again and see you later guys.